What up, what up, what up? What's going on, team? We're going to start shortly, team, so I'm excited for tonight's live stream. Let's get it. Make sure you guys smash that like button for your boy. I really do appreciate the love, team. Just lining up everything, making sure everything's good, and I'll keep you guys posted. All right, team, welcome back. Super excited to have you guys here. Man, I hope you guys are doing well. How's your day going, guys? Let me know. Let's get it. Um, just going to make sure everything's good here, background music-wise. Should be good, team. Let's see here. Welcome, welcome everyone. Let's get it. All right, so what are we gonna look at team? Basically, let's start off with gold. Let's start off with our main pairs and kind of what we're anticipating. Um, basically what I see we got, okay, let me just read through the comments first. Uh, what's good, what's good? We got everyone here, let's go. We got Manuel, AK DeRose, let's go. We got Sixto, we got Fila, let's go. Colton, let's get it. Awesome, we got the whole family here. And as we wait for more people here, we got Marco. Let's go. We got Ikal. Let's go. Uh, 
we got AK drills. Let's go. Not bad. Just been trying to study, wrap my head around. Yeah, man. It's, that's what it is. It's putting in the work, team. Got to put in the work. You know what I'm saying? Put in the work and you'll reap the benefits. Reap the benefits. All right, team. So basically, let's take a look at what I see right now for gold. So as we know, gold has been trending to the upside for quite some time. So again, remember, I always like to look at the bigger picture understand kind of the overall direction okay and where we're at and we can see that we've pretty much stopped out at this level structure okay so we're going to start off with gold i know that a lot of you guys are excited to look at different pairs and stuff don't worry your usd is up there as well too i see there your usd no worries um so just make sure you guys stick around don't worry i'm gonna we're gonna go over that together um and we're gonna look at a couple other pairs mainly our top pairs we're gonna start off with our top pairs first team and then we're gonna move on from there okay and your usd is one of those top pairs you can see the top pairs here on the right if you're wondering okay we got gu we got gga we got your usd odd usd usd jpy gold and us 30 and nasdaq these are kind of our main pairs that we look at okay so don't worry we're gonna look at that together team um so yeah basically let's start off with gold I always like to look at gold because I do uh, trade gold myself. Um, so what are we looking at here, team? So overall, we can see that pretty much it seems like gold has rejected this level structure highs over here uh, twice, right? So we can start seeing some sort of a potential double top formation. Um, however, we could see price come back down and at least retest, I would say, even this lower end over here uh, for gold. Uh, and probably just range for a bit, right? So we don't know what's going to happen in this point, right? With this candle, it could create a little wick and then push us back up and retest these highs, right? So there's so many variables that could happen for gold until we actually see some sort of a breakout. But as of right now, we can see clearly that um, gold is stuck in this kind of like upwards um, in this range. Essentially, we had this strong momentum push. And now what we're getting is some sort of a in exhaustion, right? So right now, price is finally starting to exhaust. Uh, we're not seeing some sort of a heavy momentum yet uh, however if i do see a break of these highs i'm definitely going to anticipate a similar move that we saw here for gold to the upside right um so longer term we know that gold is going to continue to go higher especially with all the news that we have we know that team we know that most likely it's going to continue to go higher um so give me one second here team i think i am just going to change my thumbnail because I know it looks very similar to what we had. And so some people might think it's the same one. Anyways, uh, we got Colton. Love gold. Yes, bro. Yes, gold is nice. Uh, okay, give me one second here, team. Hope you guys are doing well, man. Uh, we got BF here. How many trades do you take a week, roughly? I mean, it's tough, but it's tough for me to tell you, like, exactly. But on average, I would say probably anywhere between, like, three to five trades a week. Yeah. I I like to keep it like that. Nice and simple. You know what I mean? Some people would trade, like, you know, three to four times a day. You know what I mean? But less is more. That's, that's really what I teach on my stream a lot. And you know what I mean? I'm here to provide you guys as much value as possible. I want you guys to be successful. I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes I went through. You know what I mean? So best advice, less is more. I always say that less is more. And especially when it comes to trading, right? Um, the more you're on the charts, the more you're going to find yourself losing money if you're really not knowing what you're doing, right? So <clears throat> BF, you're doing good, bro. Thanks, my man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Happy to have you here. And like I said, man, I'm, I'm just here to provide you guys. As long as I'm providing you guys some sort of value and like, you know what I mean? creating some sort of an impact then that to me is more than enough i don't need anything else team nothing else just having you guys here building a solid community you know networking uh you seeing you guys network with each other is beautiful uh, i've met so many people from from all walks of life and from all over the world so it's really really nice uh let me just i'm just updating the thumbnail here team because i know some of you guys were confused if this was the new one or not uh like a new video because i left my charts on right so it's tough for people to know the difference but i'm gonna change it up here a bit okay this should be good we got a cal here i would like to ask about leverage is it okay that we 
what we use in standard in a standard about leverage you can also use my micro accounts using a hundred dollars um i'm not sure what you mean by that my man Like you mean a full lot? Is that what you're talking about? I wouldn't use a full lot, like a standard full lot, no. So best advice, don't don't over don't over complicate it. So like don't just best advice when you're starting out, just focus on um, knowing how much you're going to be trading risking for each trade. And if you don't know what that is, especially with your account size, like a hundred bucks, you know, it would be probably be most likely 0 0.01. Um, which is like a micro lot and then just basically basically uh use a calculator as it grows um but yeah that's kind of what i would do i wouldn't focus so much on leveraging or trying to flip that account just slowly grow it don't don't pressure yourself don't rush anything just slowly grow it little by little Uh, we got a question here from Mr. Two. Is your strategy similar to Raja Banks? Uh, no. Raja is a little bit different. He, so you see how, like, I have these lines here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that if it's a break of the highs or lows. I like to do breaks and retests, but um, just basically we're in a range though. So this is, this is me just pointing out that we're in a range. Uh, Raja will look at the market and really focus, narrow it down to like a certain area. So he'll say, Okay, we're just gonna focus on, for example, the highs of this area, for example. Let me just clear that off. Like, he, you know, Raja will be like, okay, we're just focusing on this area right now. This is a range, for example. He'll say, this is a range, we need to break out. If it breaks above these highs, I'm looking at buys, kind of thing, right? Um, it's kind of like an like overall idea. You can use that as a good idea to kind of understand where we're at in the markets, right? But I like to do breaks and retests. You'll notice the way I trade over time. Uh, Colton, yes, that's right. There's lots of information out there that way you don't feel, because that's a whole different story. Like that way, that way you don't overcomplicate it. Just, just focus on. Uh, just you could use the calculator if you want, um, and then that way you're kind of slowly as it grows, then you're slowly doing everything. Uh, no worries, Cal. Let's go. Okay, so um, what are we seeing? So again basically stuck in a range area here right very very clear um so right now what i'm seeing is a nice clean rejection i think gold could continue to go down lower and possibly just retest this neckline area here of this kind of double bottomish area that we formed so let me just clear this off so we don't confuse anyone here so i think gold could come back down to around 1963 level and then we may see a bounce from that area um yeah, even if you put like, let's say the fib from the push from the lows to the highs, you can see that that's our, our, our golden zone, right? So if we go back down to the one hour time frame, uh, it's also, it would be touching down at our uh, 200 moving average to the T. Team, we got 29 members here live with us. We got 14 likes. Can we get those likes up? Let's pump those likes up, team. Let's get those likes to 20 likes. Welcome to all, all the new members that are joining in. If it's your first time here, feel free to uh, comment in the chat and introduce yourself. I would say like once we get some sort of a break of this area here, we could see it push back down to this lower level here. So I would see gold come back down to this lower level as long, and this is our golden zone on the 0.618, as long as gold breaks below this level here. So this is crucial. It needs to break below this level. I'm not gonna get in on sales here because for all we know, it could continue to go a little bit higher, right? We do have some uh, level support here at this area for gold.
Yes, team. Let's go. We're at 20 likes. Let's get it to 30. Uh, okay. Let's see here, too. Let's see. There's her. There she is. I'm just testing my little alert guy, little dinosaur, making sure he's good. Perfect. Uh, should be good on that end. Perfect. It's working. Good. Welcome, welcome. We've got uh, another family member that has just joined in. Shout out to A. Doyle. Not sure if I pronounced that right, but welcome to the family, my man. Welcome to La Familia. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we're good. We're good on this end. So let's continue on. So let's see. What am I looking at here? Let's know this down. I know that we're gonna we're, we usually go by order, but I know a lot of you guys want to look at your USD and see what's going on with your USD. So your USD. Let's look at your USD. Just clear the charts. They're, well, it's all clean now. Um, your USD. I see. Here's the thing. We've got a lot of uh, resist potential resistance area from here. So your USD. I may see your USD give us some sort of a sell opportunity at these highs. Uh, we are coming at a previous level of support. You can see it right here. We got multiple levels. So resistance, resistance, support, support. This is a level of structure. Uh, in fact, last time price came up to these highs up here, even a little bit higher. Uh, this could be a supply zone over here. So we could see maybe even your USD come up, give us some sort of a wick rejection, some sort of bearish uh, candle formation, some sort of bearish price action. And then we may see a push to the downside target these lows over here right so um even if i pull like let's say my levels of confluence here let's say these uh, supply levels we could see this is a supply level up here so pretty much at the level that i was mentioning uh, you can see this kind of head and shoulders not the most ideal example but um we could see that where price is right now we could see it come up to these highs here before this would be a nice sell opportunity at these highs where that green area you see there, team, uh, we may see nice short opportunities from there and we may see it come back down um, and actually retest where we're kind of holding off right now as a level of resistance. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like hypothetically, though, we need to see some sort of more volume. I need to see a little bit more, uh, maybe maybe news once we get some more news kicking in tomorrow. I think we have some news. Yeah, we got some US news tomorrow, I believe. No, in a couple days. So we don't have news tomorrow. No major news, at least. Um, but that's going to help us really kind of um, determine the overall kind of direction. Uh, okay, so I'm just reading through the comments here, team. Let's go. Um, he said, how do you define a high quality trade? Uh, that's a good question. So basically, uh, when I see a high quality trade, basically it just really comes down to seeing a pattern that uh, i recognize number one um see seeing a overall respect of a certain level so it could be a support or resistance area um or seeing basically um all the confirmations essentially right so uh it's at a major level structure right it's trending to the upside or trending to the downside so it's going with the trend right you got to make sure it's going with the trend going in the direction that you know the waves are going right you don't want to go against the current right um, so those are things that we want to look for right as traders, right? So for example, I'll tell you something here So let's say I mean your USD is not the greatest example right now, but let's say for example uh, GU is also kind of choppy to let's say <sighs> Let's see odd USD. I think odd USD. We had a break. We were looking at potential um, I think it was push the downside. I can't remember Yeah so look at this. So audio C is a great example. So you can see that overall, I was anticipating it to pull back. Look at my overall analysis, right? A pullback and then it pushed to the downside. So we we did pull back. However, we, we've just pulled back to this area of supply over here. So you can see it may be clear on the 30 minute. Um, there we go. So this is an area of supply. You can see it pretty much price came up, wicked it over here and then boom, capitulated, right? So now at this point, 
um, we're not only at a level of supply where price have sold off in the past, but also now we are kind of in this upwards, short term upwards trend. Let me just clear the charts so it's not so confusing. Right. And so let's say for me as a trader, what I would want to see is price break below this level here. Let's say this level down here. And so I knew that it rejected a major level structure, gave me a strong momentum, push the downside. I wait for some sort of a potential retest. And now it's confirming me. Let's say it rejects this level because look at this. We got support on the left, support, support, right? Support and future resistance. So let's say it rejects this area, this future area now. Now, not only do I have an extra confirmation that we've rejected a major level supply, we have broken the upward trend line, okay? And now we've gotten a strong momentum push and we're retesting a level, previous level structure that price respected in the past. We're now retesting it as a level of resistance. So it, basically I wait for now some sort of a bearish or bearish price action or bearish pattern or a bearish candle formation for me to enter this trade. And then this is a much higher, high, higher probable trade setup for me to start looking for potential selling opportunities, right? So again, right, this just gives me that extra confirmation that I may be looking for sell opportunities. I put my stop loss, 15 pin stop, target here, this low, or even a little bit lower. There you go, 45 pip stop. That's a 2.9 or 3.0 risk reward ratio. And I mean, I would, I'm not saying that that's the case with this right now. I'm just randomly just kind of showing you a possible scenario. But if we look at it right now, I'll be honest with you, even odd USD, I don't like how it's just kind of sideways. It's it's if you look at it overall, let me just kind of clear everything here. If you look at it, it's not although we have a little bit of higher highs and all that stuff. It's essentially if you look at the overall direction, it's just stuck in a range. That's all it really is. You know what I mean? Um, so we are just essentially pretty much at the high of this range area where price has touched multiple times. Right. And then maybe this is easier for you to see here, but this is kind of the low end of the range. OK, so now this looks much clearer. Right. And so now this is price is kind of going up. Right. You can see this kind of upwards trend. We're also at the highs of the range right over here. Right. And so if we get a break below this level structure, I want to see a strong momentum push. Right. Right now, we don't know that price may come back up to these highs. Yes, we got a bearish strong momentum. But we're also holding ourselves prices holding right now currently on the one hour time frame at this level of support so i wouldn't want to sell at the support i wouldn't want to sell at the bottom right does that make sense team i hope you guys are understanding what i'm explaining but at least this is just the way i see it right and you guys will see the more i uh you come to the live streams you guys are going to learn the way i trade and remember there's no right or wrong way of trading everyone has a different way of trading everyone has a different strategy um everyone has a different approach so don't feel bad, you know what I mean, if it doesn't work out for you or if you're if you're finding that a certain way other people trade doesn't work for you, you know what I mean? You will find your own edge, right? You just got to be confident in that, um, you know, you trust your plan, your trading plan that you establish over time. Um, team, we're at 41 people here. We've got 24 likes, team. 24 likes. Can you guys do me a huge solid? If you enjoy these live streams and you want me to continue to make them do me a huge solid and smash that like button for me drop some fire emojis in the chat and uh yeah i'd love to hear from you guys also if you guys are new if you guys are new to the family also introduce yourself let me know who you are where are you joining in from what country we have people from everywhere man all over the world so yeah, and I don't know what you're what you're doing. If you haven't subscribed, you're missing out on a ton of value. Absolute ton of value, man. I'm telling you. It's free value. I come in here live, give you guys my time. So. Uh, okay, let me just read through here. Uh, Luis Carrillo, what, what prop firm do you recommend? Uh, probably FTMO, man. Or... I don't really recommend any of them because I don't really do any of them, right? But if you ask me, I guess the one that has been there the longest, I would say, or the one that has the most reputation uh, or tested by the most amount of people would be FTMO at this point. Yeah. But again, it's, I don't know, because I personally don't trade it. I, I personally, sorry, I don't personally don't do a funded account. Uh, Jesus, let's go. There is a fundamental right now with odd. Okay, there you go. 
Yeah, I haven't checked the news lately, but it's always good to be aware, team. It's always good to be aware. Let's see, Forex Factory. It's always good to be aware, team. We got Boss Nation. Have you ever heard of Uncle Ted? Um, I think I've heard of him. He's been trading for... I think he's the one that... He's been trading for a long time, but like he doesn't show his face or something like that. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of them out there, man. There's a lot of YouTubers and traders out there. I think he's the one that's been trading for a couple of years. He does like 100 lots or something. I think I know him through one I used to follow with Raja. Um, but yeah. Hey, there we go. There we go. Now we got those fire emojis. Now we got people. Nice. We got people from all over the world, man. Awesome. Canada. Let's go. That's where I'm from as well. Let's get it. Uh, what part of Canada? My man, what part of Canada? Uh, we got Fila joined yesterday from South Africa. Awesome, my man. Welcome. Welcome. We got Julian from Miami. Let's go. Uh, is he going to be profitable? Don't worry, my man. It takes time. Everything takes time. Uh, we got a fiero. That's a fiero. Perfect. We got Iron Man. Let's go. Good evening, my man. Let's get it. 29 likes, team. Let's go. Let's pump it. Let's pump those numbers. Yes. I love seeing the fire emojis, team. Let's get it. We're at 29 likes. Let's get it to 30. Let's get it to 35. We got AK Droz, Florida. Let's go. We got D223, Alberta. Nice, my man. I'm from Ontario um okay that's awesome happy to have you all here man seriously that's sick people from all over that's awesome florida alberta detroit hey those emojis let's get it i love the fire emojis team let's get it uh okay we got cal here sorry i'm just going back through the comments here after consistently consistently watching your live streams it planted to my mind on how you see the market and how to place trades because before i see the red candles you say oh it's bearish then i would sell and it goes up yeah oh yeah like you know there's so much to trading trust me it's not just taking an entry just because it looks bearish or just because price is going down right you, there's so much like the psychology aspects like 80 percent of it uh let's go we got david i just found the stream last week i'm from dallas texas david happy to have you here my man let's get it uh we got ish ishan how are you hey man how are you i got a question to ask sure thing my man just ask away um i'm doing well thank you uh we got ak let's go bro let's get it we got joseph green from vancouver let's go yes team canada in the house uh we got a fieto 610 i appreciate you taking the time to do these lives and explain everything no worries no worries at all team like i said i i my goal is to be able to provide you guys with as much value as possible and i mean like you know like i said there's no right or wrong way of trading everyone has their own style of trading right but i'm just here to share with you guys my journey you know what i mean and you know, if you can get something out of it, then that's that's more than enough for me. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Let's go. We got Mobile Dev. Found your stream today from Pakistan. Awesome, my man. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so yeah. So the audio ST again. Um, I think, and let me just check here. News, because we need to make sure we're on top of everything, team, here. So... No, nothing. Nothing tomorrow. Okay. Thursday is when we have some US news, some Euro news all day on Thursday. Some a little bit of US news. It's like orange folder, but it's not as important. So Yeah, we'll see what happens though. Okay, so let's let's move on here. Let's uh let's see USD JPY team. Oh, look at that. Do you guys remember I was telling you guys that we were going to see a potential break here to the upside? It was starting to form this kind of downwards, uh, I guess you could say downwards on the one hour time frame. This does kind of look like a downwards channel, right? And then we failed to create what? 
a uh, you can see my line here and I was holding out this level of support so even if we draw this like this maybe just to give it a little bit more clarity here look at that now what are we seeing here technically believe it or not we are holding off at this major level support here so we had been faked out and if we pull this over here to the left we can see that it has respect to this level structure in the past look at that so we've got major levels here support resistance support and you can keep going in the past but look, we'll just leave it at that that area here look look how clean it respected that level look going in the past okay team um so we could see that hey you know we struggled to kind of create a new lower low at this point price struggled and it pushed up instead of actually coming back down right so we saw a push to the upside instead of pushing price down lower so now we're getting a push to the upside here so i would say i'd be looking at buy setups for sure like a strong confirmation for me anything above these highs here is when i would personally get in on bias right i mean you could buy here at these lows if you want but that's this is just a confirmation for me remember this is a one hour time frame right so even if we look at it from a four hour time frame um let's see maybe we could see a better yeah i mean so technically yeah i would say see this is a safe bet here so i'd say anything above these highs here technically the area i've pointed out we're looking for buy setups price so that's a stronger confirmation for me at least that we're looking for buy setup to the upside here for usd jpy because what could happen is we need to realize this team is that price could come up to these highs right you, if you would have bought in let's say from here it could, you could profit right but there's a risk that it might just from this level it might just come back down right we don't know right we don't know right uh there's so many i'm not saying that's gonna happen but there's so many scenarios that could happen right so for me to wait i'm gonna wait for buys above the, these highs for sure um team we're at 33 likes let's get it to 40 likes team let's go uh we got a question here aishan says I started doing scalping. I have 18,000 account. How do I increase it faster? I mean, what lot size should I use and how can I secure my account positions properly? Man, you've got a lot, a lot, a long way to go on that sense, my man. My best advice is just to watch my videos. Um, go to my video tab, watch my videos, and you'll be able to kind of get an understanding. But start with like just understanding the overall market, like how to trade, like, because if you don't know how to position yet or put your position, don't play around, you know what I mean? Um, you don't want to lose your money. Um, and then, like I said, use a lot. So you just you could just type on Google Forex Lot Calculator. Um, and then you put your 18,000 and then put whatever pair you're trading, right? And then it'll tell you how much you're willing to risk or how much you could risk, right? Put a 25 pip stop, 30 pip stop. It'll tell you how much you should punch in. So if it's telling you 18,000, it says you could do two full lots then there you go you could do two full lots or 2.5 whatever right but just don't um don't try and grow it like don't rush into it you know what i mean like the way you're just telling me everything you're just starting out so don't jump into just trying to flip it quick because it's not going to happen right you have to kind of understand first how everything you know what i mean understanding the basics of everything uh we got all right man why do you have to grow it fast good question that is a good question uh iron man is is asking a really good question because there's there should you shouldn't be trying to grow it fast my man that's why i say even larger small account or larger small accounts you can't you shouldn't focus on building or rushing accounts that's not the focus team you have a small account you have a large account try not try, try to change that mentality i've said that multiple times i've said that multiple times over and over try not to uh, flip accounts try not to you know because th that's messing with your psychology you're in the wrong mindset. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, I mean, I personally, like, I mean, I, I, I don't really scalp, to be honest with you. So, I, like, I'm an intraday trader. So, I just trade. I'm a day trader, right? So, I just, I'm in and out in a couple, couple hours, couple, like, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes, an hour, I'm out. 
you know what I mean? Um, I don't do like the one minute, two minutes, five minutes. It's tough for me to tell you, my man. Uh, it moves so fast, you need to kind of understand the overall direction, right? So if you're here, right, and you know that most, like we don't know if it's gonna come up here, right? So you just gotta have to understand if you're at the, at the lows, like let's say if you're at the bottom and, it's, and you know it's a major level support, then, and you're looking for potential buys, then you know you look you look at the five minute right and you understand okay where are we right oh look at this we've created higher highs and higher lows on the smaller five minute time frame so when i had this push and i got this pullback most likely on this pullback over here i may anticipate to push the upside right from here but again right like there's not much pips to catch at that point on a five minute like what you're gonna catch like three 15 pips right that would be a quick scalp right there All right, team, we're at 34 likes, team. Can we get it to 40 likes? Let's go. And welcome to all the new members that are new here, team. Excited to have you guys here tonight. Okay, so now... So now, what are we gonna look at here? Let's focus on, so yeah, that's kind of what we're seeing USD JPY overall. Um, yeah, I wouldn't look for buys unless I come up to these highs. If we get a rejection here, I'm gonna short it all the way down. Let's see where we're at here. Yeah. Look at that level of supply team. Literally, if it comes up here, we know that when price came up to this level in the past, look, it went all the way down. So most likely if USD JPY comes up to these highs, we have to be very careful. If it breaks above the supply level, then we're gonna probably break and close. We could see a continuation to the upside. But longer term, we're waiting for some sort of a retest. Yeah, so we got AK draw. So, so buy and sell above the level structure is pertaining to breakouts. Yeah, so we just got to wait for confirmation. So candle closures above a certain level, right? So if it breaks above here and closes above previous high, then, you know, that's, there's more more likelihood that it's going to continue to go in that direction. Obviously, we, we deal with fake outs too, right? So we have to be very cautious with that too, right? So it's similar to what happened with gold. When I called out in my VIP group and I told them, hey, gold sells, they woke up this morning, they were caking money, right? So some people would have said, oh, we're going to buy, for example, I'll, I'll give you an example. Remember I told you gold's pulling back? It's pulling back already. Since the beginning of the last year, it's already starting to pull back to our first support level. But let me clear the charts just so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. In my uh, inner circle group, um, I told my students that we were looking at sells here last night. So... Which is crazy because some people would think, holy crap, we're looking at potential buys here for gold, right? It, it already kind of formed a low here, pushed up, and then like, you know, it was holding out this level of support right here. So this is where I called the signal and I said, hey guys, this is kind of what I'm looking at. I'm looking at potential sells. I saw this bearish candle close, so then I got in here on the next one and I told them to get in on sells. I put the stop loss a little bit higher than usual. I think it was like 50 pips or 49 pips because I knew that there could have been a wick. Long story short, some people would think that's nuts. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this is a level you can see here that price has respected as resistance, resistance, right? And potentially it could have been holding it as a level support. Do you guys see what I'm talking about here, team? It could have been holding it as a level support. So whoever saw this was like, shoot, man, I'm looking at potential buys. I don't know why you'd be looking at potential sells, right? If you look at this here, right, team? Like, look, let's go back down to the one hour. And you're seeing gold, okay, come up at this level, right? You could say, okay, we're looking at potential sells. I mean, potential 
potential buys if it respects this level of support because it was it, it is a level that price has respect in the past look at this look at that area right there right um yes it could be rejecting this level here as a break and retest because we have the strong momentum but to be honest let's be fair it would be more around a little bit higher above these highs area over here right so it's not rejecting anything here at this area other than this this range area here this high here so anyways long story short i i told them sells i sent out the signal in my vap and i told them i said guys we're looking at sells and my target one here is tp1 this level structure here we're looking at seven, 67 pips and tp2 we're looking at uh over 126 pips overall long story short we woke up and then look at what ended up happening with gold this trade ended up going in our favor completely capitulated to the downside and we ended up profiting about 83 pips. I think it was 83 pips. I know the team stayed up 80. See, there you go. 87 pips. And that is what I sent in my free chat sharing what we had caught in there on the inner circle. So beautiful trade setup again, right? But what was it? You know what I mean? It was complete contrary of what people would have thought would have happened, right? So um, in this case, right? Some people would think, oh, shoot, you know, we got faked out or whatever, right? But yeah. There's a lot of a lot of ways to look at the markets and it just takes time. You're not going to understand it overnight. 100% not going to understand it overnight. So. <clears throat> we got higher mantra. I'm the US 30 king. <laughs> That's jokes. Let's get it. Uh, we got Usman here. GJ. No idea, my man. I don't I don't I'm not looking at GJ right now. But as of right now, GJ has just been, it's been ranging, man. It's, it's all, it's all over the place. Personally, I just think it's all over the place. Uh, it seems like it's kind of going and breaking above these highs. I would say I could see GJ going up. So we were looking at potential sells because this was a major level of structure. We did see it push down, which is nice, but this is an, a more important area. And so if I see GJ break above these highs here, then completely change the overall uh, shift in the direction, right? So we could see it come up and continue to go higher. Um, let's go up to the daily. We got Lil Roy. What's up? What's up, my man? Let's go, team. Welcome, welcome to everyone that's just joining in. For all the new people, all the new members, if it's your first time here, don't be shy. Introduce yourself in the chat box below. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Like we just asked uh, a couple of the members here. We got people from Canada, from Vancouver, from Detroit, New York. We have people from all over the world, South Africa, um, man, everywhere. Brazil, let's get it. Uh, we got Corvex, uh, our man trading. You've dropped off big time, buddy. Chance on. Lost that. Trade DC trading. Left a lot. Uh, little Roy, what's up? What's up? Sup, Eam. US thirty. I didn't lose anything. South Africa. Let's go, Philippines. Awesome team. For all the new members that are just joining in, make sure you guys are subscribed below. Because trust me, you don't want to miss out on any of these live streams when we're live. Um, so make sure you guys also turn on and click that little notification bell. Uh, and click all notifications so you don't miss out on any single piece of content I pull out, team. Awesome, guys. We got more new members here. I'm from the Philippines. We got South Africa. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, so like I said, do you see how it's this candle here, this daily candle is looking pretty bullish. We see a lot of rejection from this level structure. So, <clears throat> but I want to look on the daily. Let's see where we're at here. We can see a lot of sideways action, man, to be honest. Um, so we can see, do you see the rejection there? So I could see it maybe coming up. It may have some room to the upside from here, especially this daily candle. We are uh, potentially going to see a, a retest of these highs, maybe in the next next few day or two. Maybe we'll see. We might get a push to the upside. 
we'll see how this candle closes. Hey, we got... Uh, we got Paolo. Hey, Paolo from Vancouver. Let's go. There's a lot of Canadians here, too. A lot of people from Canada. You guys know I'm from Canada as well. Background's Latino, obviously. I'm uh, I'm Latino, bro. But uh, I live in Canada. Was born and raised here, though. Hey, chat, also remember, uh, we have our free Telegram group team below. So make sure you guys click the, the link below in the video description. You'll see it says free community or uh, join the free Telegram. Make sure you join in on there as well, too. Uh, we got FND91, Buen Norte. Uh, Buenas noches. We got Summit in Indonesia. We got John Defoe, John Defoe, sorry, I don't know if I pronounce that, or French, if it's Defoe. Hello, my fellow Ontario trader. <laughs> Where are you from, John? Are you from Ontario too? Uh, we got Boss Nation Area 51, I like it. I dig it, my man. We got Doug from UK. Let's go, my uncle's from there. Uh, like, he's he lives there, he's been there for like 25, 30 years, man. Not from there, but he's lived there most of his life. Yeah. We went to UK actually not too long ago. I mean, like three years ago, we went to UK. It was beautiful, man. It's really, the people are nice. Got nice pubs. We went to Brighton. Went to the Shard in, in London. It was nice. Went with the wife. No complaints. Uh, we got Gregory from Edmonton, born and raised. Let's go, team. Team Canada rising, but most importantly, Team Blessed Family here rising. Let's get it. Man, I want you guys to be successful, man, in your trading. Trust me. Um, I know what it was starting out and still, like I said, I'm not even close to where I want to be. That's what I'm saying. I'm just here to share my journey, man. Like, I'm here to sh just show, show you guys what I know and if... You know, you tweak it with your own trading or your own kind of way, then great. You know what I mean? And if you find some sort of value, then that's the most important thing, team. Okay, let's move on. Let's focus on pairs that I don't usually trade. Like, let's look at Euro JPY and other pairs that we're going to. We're just going to take a look at a team together. Uh, team, we're at 42 likes. Let's get it to 50 likes. Uh, we got Edgar in the house. Let's go. La casa. Let's go. We got uh, Prabhakaran. Let's go. Hey, bro. I'm new here from India. Welcome, my man. Welcome. Uh, John, 30 minutes outside of Windsor. Nice. So you're close. We're neighbors, pretty much. Uh, Xray, Peter, can you watch GU? Yeah, GU. We'll take a look at it in a second, my man. Take a look at it in a second. Let's clear the charts. Let's go up to the daily. Let's start fresh. So your GPY, what are we looking at your GPY? I don't want to focus so much on the past other than the fact that we're trending to the upside. That's it. That's all I want to care about. That's all I want to know. We are currently trending to the upside. There is some sort of a shift right now. You can see that sh like short term or most recent price action you can see pretty much is ranging. Okay. But the overall direction, we can understand what are we looking at team? Overall direction to the upside. You can see it clear as water, right? So we are getting some sort of a bullish candle here form here on the daily. We could see uh, your JPY come up to these highs. I mean, if it does break above these highs where it's pretty much retest retesting it right now, I could see your JPY come up a little bit higher to these highs at 145, 400 level. Uh, that's kind of an area of interest that I'm looking at um, for your JPY. If we narrow that down to the four hour time frame, then this will give us a better understanding as to what we can anticipate, team. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing there for your JPY. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're looking at, and I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, got Mol Molal J. I'm new here from USA. 
Welcome, Malal. Uh, welcome to the family. Make sure you guys are subscribed, team. Make sure you guys also click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these live streams. Because, um, like I'm saying, man, if you haven't joined the family, I don't know what you're doing. You're missing out. <clears throat> you're missing out on a ton of value if you're just starting out, too. Okay, awesome. Uh, we got X-ray. No, bro. You, GU. Yes. Yeah, I know. We're going to get there to GU, my man. I was just looking here at your JPY first. Uh, 44 likes, team. Let's get it to at least 50, team. Let's get it to 50 likes. Uh, okay, so uh, let's continue on here, team. Now we're going to take a look at GU. One sec, team. Just going to let the wife know her food arrived. Just ordered the wife some food. One sec, team. All right, team. Okay, so we got uh, we got more members joining in. Let's get it. Also, team, I'll let you guys know. Make sure you guys check out the if you know uh, the super chat and super stickers. That's available now. It's pretty sick. Um, and anything you guys click on there, like let's say. Uh, you guys want to become a member it's pretty cool you get like different perks you get a badge on your name and all that stuff so when we do the lives in the mornings or even later in the evenings it gets pretty busy and crazy and stuff so um you can have a badge and then you can also it kind of sets you as priority in the chat because sometimes it's hard for me to keep up i'll be honest with you guys um uh we got muhammad morning bro morning my man uh Uh, we got uh, AK Dros. We got. I want to join Lifetime Inner Circle, uh, VIP Inner Circle. I want to get money for it. No worries, my man. No worries. Look forward to having you. Um, yeah, feel free to message me. I might be able to kind of help you out a bit. But if, you, if that's something that you're really hoping to join. Uh, Okay, so GU, what are we looking at GU team? So GU, um, we can see on the daily, remember I told you guys that we were gonna see GU potentially give us a push to the upside. It was starting to kind of form this sort of a bullish flag for pattern formation, okay? And we got some sort of a potential break here. However, we are pretty much at a resistance area over here, okay? Um, so, if we get a break, what I think personally is going to happen, I'll be honest with you guys, is let's see the dollar. What's going on with the dollar here? So the dollar, we are, so we may have a little bit more room. Depending on what it, how it reacts here, let's say this is the daily. I mean, if we are able to respect this level of support here for the dollar, okay, for Dixie, and we see the Dixie reject this level, then we could see uh, UST JPY or GJ, uh, sorry, GU, my mistake, give us the pullback that we see here. So prices at a level of structure here, resistance, we may see GU come back down before it gives us a push to the upside. That's kind of what I see here, to be honest with you, team. Right, so. Uh, team, we're at 45 likes. Let's get it to 50 likes, team. Also, welcome to everyone that's new. 
all the new family members make sure you guys also click the links below uh, make sure you have your notifications turned on that little uh, little bell icon make sure you click on it um, and make sure you guys join in the free telegram how to reset the little dinosaur All right, team, I just had to, I have to reset it every once in a while or else the thing just gets stuck. Okay, so we know we don't have major news there. Cool. Uh, we got Iron Man, we got a couple of people here commenting. Let's go. We got Josias. Let's go, bro. I thought you abandoned me, my man. What's going on, Josias? Bro. I was like, where? Where's the parcero? Let's get a team. Josias, how was that? Um, how was that trade I sent in on my uh, inner circle last night? How'd you like that gold trade? How'd you like that gold trade, my man? Overnight. Overnight. I usually personally don't like tra trading, tra taking trades overnight. I like to kind of just, you know, because you never know. Things could change, right? <laughs> that's awesome bro that's awesome okay awesome so let's continue here team so yeah anyways that's kind of what i'm seeing depending on what happens here remember this is the daily right so this is a daily time frame we want to understand kind of the overall bigger picture it was potentially forming back then not anymore but you guys could see it was potentially forming a head and shoulders right was was past tense didn't happen didn't play out that's fine so we didn't get that reversal pattern doesn't mean that price won't go down from here right if we break these highs here this previous high here then i may see a continuation to the downside which is going to be this pullback and retest of this kind of downwards uh momentum again is it 100 no nothing's 100 it's all about probabilities team right we need to look at all the probabilities that may happen here for price right but as of right now i'll be honest i just don't really like what i see i don't see anything at this given time like I said, if we see a rejection of this level, maybe we might see look buying opportunities. But again, there's not much range here anyways. All right, we're talking about 25 pips. Uh, sorry, team. I'm just trying to read here through the comments. Welcome, welcome to everyone. I see a couple more people joining in, new family members joining in. I don't know what happened to my little dinosaur. He can't keep up. Uh, but welcome, team. Welcome. Um, 
I've reset them, everything, but I'm just trying to give everyone a shout out here. Shout out to Herman, Herman Palacio. Let's go. Has subscribed to the family. Uh, we got Probacron. We, yeah, awesome. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Uh, we got, let's see here. We got uh, Bayon. We'll change fast. The trade was great. Uh, and crazy thing is that why is that what I saw too? Perfect. So you're learning. That's awesome. You're learning. That's part of being a VIP member is that you're learning. That's my whole goal, man. I'm telling you, once you guys can walk, like, that's it. You can walk on your own. Um... Okay, so what do you got? Got Emmanuel. I think gold's going to sell today. I think that too. I think that too, my man. But we'll see. Um, it will. It might be short lived too because we just went over gold too. But I'll go over it with you guys uh, in a second. Uh, I it says right before you sent it, I thought you were asleep. Yeah, I did fall asleep, bro. I'll be honest. I, I sent out the, the alert and I fell asleep. I just trusted my analysis. If it hit, it hit. If it didn't hit it. And you guys saw we profited 87 pips this morning. In the in the VIP inner circle. Uh, we got Mohammed, bro. Tell me something about GJ, bro. I'm telling you, my man. GJ right now, I really don't like GJ so uh, lately. So I think GJ at this point, we may see, like I said, a push the upside. So we are seeing that push. And like I said, I drew this line here at the top. You see this line right here because it may come up to this level here. Uh, but we also need to watch out for potential. This could create a wick, right? So I need to see a closure. This for our closure. Uh, we got still three hours left. Yeah, so it's just it's, this just opened um i want to see this candle close obviously above because it could still create a wick and come back down kind of looks like a inverted head and shoulders so it might come up to these highs maybe again i'm just trying to maybe might give us a push to this high here get a rejection come back down retest the neckline here and may see it come back up to these highs that's kind of what i see there for gj Right, not the most ideal, but you guys see what I'm talking about here, team. Not the most ideal, but it works. Yeah, that's kind of what I see there for GJ. Let's take a look at NZD CAD. What's going on with ND NZD CAD team? Uh, let's start fresh. I just. I don't know. I don't know if I like what I see. Welcome team, welcome. We got a couple new members joining in. Welcome to everyone that's new. Put the link there for our free telegram group as well. Whole team's quiet.
We got uh, John Curry. Let's go. USDJPY killing it. Let's go. What's going on with the USDJPY? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So look at that. So this is literally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So this is literally from. I really told you guys push the upside. You can see my little highlighted box right there. Let's go down to the 30 minute. There you go. There's a 30 minute candle here. We started the live stream around this level. There you go, man. Jeez. To the T. That's my level of supply. If it breaks this level then uh, to the upside then we're now we're talking strong push what's going on with Dixie Dixie might give us a push to the upside from that level gold we are breaking that level yes uh yeah team sometimes he the thing is like and you that's a good thing that you guys are watching my markups because it's hard for me to manage everything but you guys will see man like i i literally tell you guys hey this is what i'm seeing this is what's gonna happen and just because i see it's gonna happen that way no one knows what could happen the market could do anything at any given time okay but as a trader you have a sense of there's a little bit of an edge, right? So you use your tools. You say, okay, these are the areas that I'm looking at. This is what I see price potentially doing. There's a higher probability that price is going to go this direction, a higher probability that price is going to do this, right? So then that's when I'm like, you know what? Most likely price is going to respect this and it's going to do that, right? So that's really in the end what uh, what I look for, right? So remember at the beginning of the live stream too, I told you guys, I'm seeing gold to pull back. Look at that, closed bearish on the 15. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful, right? So it's probably gonna touch, I'll be honest with you, it's gonna touch this, this area down here. Um, and then we're gonna see a nice pullback. So on the pullback here for gold, okay, uh, we could be looking at potential sell opportunities, right? We wait for some sort of a retest here. If it reject, rejects this level here, we could look for sell opportunities potentially, right? Um, we are holding off though at a level of support. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just don't see any current trade at this given time. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to force it either. So, but beautiful, beautiful turnout there, even with our USD JPY, right? So we'll see what ends up happening. We'll see how it reacts at this level. Once we get like a bearish candle here formed, then this is a nice potential entry for sales. Yeah, 47 pips. I want to see that bearish candle close though. All right, uh, Bryant, welcome. Bryant has subscribed to the family. Welcome to La Familia, my man. Uh, we're at 56 likes, team. Can we get it to 60 likes? Can we get it to 60 likes, team. Uh, we got... Hit the likes, people. Yes, Justin. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it.
Sorry, team. I'm like, this is this is the the hustle doesn't stop, man. You know, we we doing these live streams. We still, you know, we still eating here, man. Dinner. We're sharing dinner together, team. Hustle doesn't stop, though. Still. Um. Yeah, hey, bro. I'm new, but do you do Nas 100? Yes, I do. AKA Dros got my notes. Awesome, bro. Love to have you in the inner circle, man. You would love the the live Zoom calls we do with my students. You would love that, man. I'm telling you, I think that's the biggest value overall with my inner circle. More than just like signals or anything. We got Laurent. Laurent, shout out to Laurent. Has subscribed to the family. Welcome. Sorry, sorry, team. If you guys watch me eat, man. I'm just literally, I haven't eaten, so. But I was like, I have to do this live stream for the team. We got Bryant. Bryant, so I am live every single uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, live in person in the mornings. And uh, and also in the in the evenings, I do come on. But the best way to get a hold of me, because I'll be honest with you, I've put a lot of my focus on my own training. Because the thing is, like, that that is also, you know, a sense of where my income comes. So, like, when I'm here in the lives it's great but like i need to focus right so it's hard for me to have have a potential setup there lining up i do it with you guys but then I, you know what i mean i need to have kind of like that clarity so i can actually look at the charts you know without having like a sense of like pressure like you know i'm also like showing you guys what i'm doing essentially i don't want to stay quiet right when i'm trading i'm very focused right so i mean we've taken trades live you guys have seen in the in the live streams in the mornings and stuff like that and how we've been able to profit right um which is amazing but i also need to focus on my own trading too right so um i used to do it every day but now i've kind of also focused a lot of my energy with my students as well too in my inner circle because uh, i want to be able to give them uh as much value as possible too so you guys know we're one big family there's, you know, I'm providing a lot of value for you guys, sharing with you guys a lot of what's taken me a while to learn. And um, I'm not saying I know it all for sure, uh, but, you know, I'm just trying to teach you guys and share with you guys as much as I can with what I know and um, my experience. And hopefully you can avoid the mistakes, you know, I went through. And, and um, yeah, that's basically the whole objective. Build a solid community you can count on. I want you guys to know that this is a community you can count on team and the best advice too as well like for the new members because i know you guys are just asking here and stuff like that is make sure you guys have that little notification bell but when you click it i know i repeat a lot because we keep getting new people joining in that's why i repeat it not that i'm i got short-term memory loss or something but um the reason why i tell you guys repeat repetitively is to make sure you click on the bell but when you click on the bell it'll give you a couple options it'll say personalize or whatever Make sure you click the one where it says, um, I think it, I can't remember what it is. I can't remember if it's, let me check. So you click on it. Uh, says so subscribe the bell. And then I think it says all notifications or something like that. So just make sure you click all notifications. That's the only way you're actually going to get notif notified. Excuse me. Otherwise you won't get notified. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for this candle to close, but look at that. It's already going in our favor, team. Anyways. Um, oh, yeah, that's kind of what we see there. Uh, we got Waldo. Hey, bendiciones. Bendiciones, Waldo. No, I uh, supply and demand. No, not today, my man. Just using just price action for now just how i like to see it 
I like to play with it sometimes. Sometimes I put it on, sometimes I don't. So, we're at a level supply there, you guys could see. Uh, we got, uh, do you think gold could reach up to 1964.20? Uh, we got AK Dros, Triad Trust, I'm going to get VIP. Awesome, my man, look forward to seeing you there. Uh, do you trade, uh, Simon, do you trade uh, options, futures, or only Forex? No, I do. I do trade. I do trade futures. All right, team. Sorry. Sorry, I have to eat. One day we'll, uh, maybe we'll do some sort of like a meetup or something. And we'll have like food together, man. The whole team celebrate. We celebrate the wins. Well, I don't really recommend just celebrating the wins. When you take a trade, don't have emotions. Try not to have emotions, team. If it's a win, it's a win. If it's a loss, it's a loss. But that's okay. Keep moving forward. Shout out to Sean. Sean Hoops has just subscribed. Welcome, my man. Um, Brian, yeah, I completely understand. Looking forward to joining on your journey and learning from you as well. Thanks, my man. Also, team, for all the people that are just joining in or, or you're new, whatever, too, make sure that, like, after this live stream, if you want or whatever, after this live stream, make sure you guys go on my YouTube channel, <clears throat> click on my videos tab, so you'll have, like, lives, shorts, all that type of stuff. Go on my videos tab and click on... Um, Click on the latest videos there. You'll be able to see videos. So if you like the way I trade, you like the way I explain things, you like how, like, you know, basically my strategy, how, like, you, you like the way I look at the markets and stuff, make sure you uh, watch those videos because at least those videos will get straight to the point. I know it's not live, like right now, like you could see, but at least it'll help you learn more and more. Um... And then, yeah, like, I mean, I know that some of you guys are asking about VIP and stuff like that. So VIP, yes, I do send, I do send my analysis, like my trade ideas and analysis and signals, like with take profit, stop, all that stuff. Right. But the focus on VIP isn't just that. So that's just like a cool, it's an added bonus. Like the fact that you can take the trades I take, that's amazing. But my goal for all my inner circle students, for you to literally become consistently profitable that's my goal with my students right that join in vip um and you know the live zoom calls that we do in itself the ton of value so the fact that you guys are like we're talking right now imagine being able to see me face to face like all my students we i've seen them face to face or being able to interact with them right even if you're camera shy that's fine but the fact that we interact as a group and speaking of group in my inner circle we have a separate group chat and in that group chat, there's a ton of value in there too. And a great team that can back you up. And that's what you need when you're just starting out. You need that team to back you up. You need that community where you could be like, man, I'm struggling. Man, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Like, you know, and I, I see it when I see them talk and stuff like that. I'm there and I see like, you know, the, the ups and downs and, and the fact that like, you know, as a community, you can support each other. That's what you need when you're starting out in trading. You need a community that you can back on to and is there to support you every step of the way because if you have a question about something i'm sure there's another person that has an answer for you it's crazy um we got buy on here i just got back what's what's the set uh set up for ucjpy ucjpy you can see it pretty much there uh 16 pips so it's nice and tight like it's not really but i'm personally like i'm not in this yet um but looking at potential sells 47 pips you know, keeping it nice and uh, nice and tight. Got to wait for this candle close bearish, and then we can see a nice clean continuation to the downside. Um, yeah, that's what I want to see. This is a level of supply. You can see very clearly price has rejected this level of structure multiple times in the past. What I want to see is some sort of a nice clean bearish price action here or bearish candle uh, close, uh, and then we can anticipate a potential continuation to the downside team. That's really what I'm seeing here. Um, anyways, we'll come back to this. You've seen it similar to, uh, um, what was it? No, it wasn't GU. 
Yeah, so much of gold here. Gold, we had a strong push to the downside too. Seems like we're holding off at this level, though, support. So you got to watch out. Um, but yeah. Team, if you haven't joined in yet, make sure you guys join in our free Telegram group. Here's the link, okay? Uh, also, if you were, if you want to check out my website, I got my website here up and running as well. Check that out. Um, and link to the inner circle. Cool. Awesome. I think my little dinosaur has fallen asleep again. <clears throat> Just going to do some shout outs here. So Brian, uh, shout out to Brian has subscribed to the family. Uh, shout out to Lorenz. Shout out to Sean. Shout out to Dare. Okay, perfect. No, we're good. We're good. This is good stuff, man. Ben 10. It's like uh, Vietnamese spring rolls or something like that. This is really good stuff, man. Team, we're at 64 likes. Can we get it to 70 likes? Let's get it to 70 likes, team. See gold pulling back though. Yeah, USD JPY is pushing to the downside nicely. About 21 seconds. So yeah. she's going to create a wick and she's going down. She's going down, son.
All right, team, we're at 67 likes. Let's get it to 70. Let's go. Uh, we got, okay. Got Nicholas. Nice camera setup. Thank you, my man. Appreciate it. Uh, Colton, uh, do y'all get in this? Mm, appreciate the way you got like this. It's on, uh, yeah, there's care okay, gold. Okay, that's all you say, my man. Gold, that's it. You don't say please, nothing. Hi, how are you? Nope. Man, some people are just... They don't even say hi, man. Uh, let's see here. Well, whenever a fuerza. We got Renaldo Ranches. Let's go. Let's go, my man. <laughs> there you go, Kayer. Hi, that's better. <laughs> Colton, are you in this trade, Pedro? Uh, no, not personally. Uh, Isaiah, what's the setup, bro? So look at a rejection of this high. This is a supply level on the 15 minute. Uh, even on the higher time frame, what I saw was that we saw price break above these highs it is wicking at this level so even if it pulls back a little bit like this candle could pull back i still feel like it may come back down to this lower lower level structure here at 130.105 but again right <clears throat> all i'm seeing really is that it is a major level of structure right uh that price has respected in the past that's it um, could it come back a little bit higher? Yeah, potentially. Um, so that's why we have to always manage our risk and understand kind of the scenarios. But I do think that we may see it even if even if we were to be just ranging. Like let's say we're not. Oh shoot. Let's say we're not even just trading to the upside or downside. Let's say we're just ranging, right? It more often than not, most likely it's still going to probably come back down anyways, because it has rejected this level structure in the past. And even if it moves like this for a bit right and then finally goes up you know what i mean because the overall direction i'm anticipating for usdjpy at this point is for the for it to go up right so i just it might be a short-term little pullback uh the 30 minute looks pretty bearish we're getting a nice bearish rejection candle closes in like six minutes uh we're getting a rejection here at this level structure here too nicely um yeah, team. We're at 72 likes, team. Can we get it to... Let's get it to 80 likes, team. Let's go. Also, welcome to all of our newest members. We got we got a couple new family members joining in. I see more people joining in our, our free Telegram group as well, team. Make sure you guys join in there as well. Oh, one sec here. Oh shoot, one sec. Oh no. One second, team. Oh shoot. Just one sec, team. Uh, 
one here. Uh, welcome everyone. Welcome. Josias, bro. Let's go. Waldo, price low. Let's go, bro. Let's go, team. Let's go. And take those profits. Enjoy those profits. Those that got in. And, uh, I, you know, it's one of those things, too, because you guys understand, obviously, I have to manage the live, do this. It is what it is. There's always opportunities in the markets. Remember that, right? So if you missed it, um, it is what it is. You move on, right? Um... Uh, we got K here, K here. Don't worry, my man. I'm going to take a look at gold for you, okay? So just give me one second here. I'm just literally talking to the VIP group too. So I'm just a little bit uh, keeping up with you guys too, right? So I just want to make sure I got everything lined up here. And I'm editing just the title and putting the little the little red dot on the title. Um, so just... Um, Hey, Iron Man, don't trust me. Trust yourself. That is correct. That is correct. You have to, you have to, uh, you have to trust and learn to trust in yourself. hundred percent. Okay. Team, give me one sec. Let's get a team. We're at 70, 78 likes. That's amazing. That is amazing. Do you think we guys, yo, do you guys think we could get it to 100 likes, team? Do you think we can get it to 100 likes? Welcome to Q Wambu Dri. Let's go. Has subscribed to the family. Um, oh, running up nicely. Look at that. Josias, let's go, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you, you are in my inner circle. You gotta join in the membership, bro. I want to see your name. When I see your name, Josias, I want to see that little badge there, bro. My man, you have blessed this channel. So many times you've donated and supported the channel, my man. You deserve that little badge, but I can't give it to you unless you actually join in. Not because I don't want to. I'd give it to you if I could. You just have to click the join thing. If you guys didn't know, you guys can join the memberships now, which is pretty cool. You get like cool access to perks. So like you get all my videos, uh, like early uploads that I post. Um... Plus, you actually get a badge on the side and you get priority response. So if you're in the chat and I can't respond because obviously sometimes it gets pretty crazy team. Uh, when you are part of the blessed membership, which is like 14 99 14 bucks, 15 bucks. Um, or if you become an ultimate blessed member, it's 20 bucks. Um, literally, you get that and then you can actually get priority as response too. So if you have a question, I can respond to that as well too. Just because it pops up, it pops up, you, you highlight. And there's super chat and super stickers now available, team. Let's go. 
And obviously anything that you guys get, it does support the channel. Oh, see, <laughs> no worries, bro. No worries at all. Hey, we got Iron Man trading. I just sold US thirty because one hour I had my pattern. <laughs> bro, is that uh, is that the the? What's your pattern again? Doji and the inverted hammer or something like that. <laughs> oh, look at that! It's beautiful close there, team. Bearish close there, so we may see a continuation to the downside for. You see JPY. What are we up right now, team? Up 15 pips. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Anyways, um, congratulations to those that actually took this trade. Uh, as you guys saw live, you know, when I told you, I explained why I, I saw sell opportunities here. Again, look at look at how my emotions, right? I do see that. Frick, man, I would have done a two lot on my larger account. I'd be laughing right now, 300 bucks, done, call it a day, pay for the lunch, pay for dinner, done. But the thing is, you have to just manage your emotions, right? Just It is what it is. There's always opportunities. Don't FOMO into trades. Don't FOMO into the rush or the, the, the impulse or, you know what I mean? Just patience pays. Uh, we got Hosea's and I kind of forgot about that membership, so I'll get it on Thursday. <laughs> awesome, my man. Awesome. Uh, Colton, send me a message, my man. I'd love to love to work with you. You can send me a message through Telegram. You can find me on in my Telegram group. You'll see my name there. There was a fake account circulating selling Bitcoin or something, man. Like it's, he was using my name and I actually like confronted him. And then he actually, uh, he, I think he got scared. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I kept calling him and I'm like, all right, let's talk. I'm like, and then I'm, it was so funny. He just, like, Hey, you want to invest? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I'm like, uh, I'm like, what's um what's your name oh he's like oh you, you can find me on my channel i'm like what's your channel then he goes he goes very quick i can't even remember the conversation but it was just hilarious and i'm like man i just i, I don't i just I, i'm like you put so much energy man you put so much energy why don't you put that energy towards act like actually like doing something positive you know what i mean like why don't you put that energy to actually learn how to trade and make your own money like why are you gonna steal money from people like that you know what i mean it's just people man they're crazy i, I don't even think i have the conversation anymore but yeah i confronted the guy and long story short i got my i got my user like the name paid official paid rfx it became available again so i took it because he had stolen my because mine was when i first originally started i had pedro fx official um, so now everything on all my social media platforms, like official, uh, like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, they're all official Pedro FX. So if you guys want to like follow me on my socials, you're more than welcome to kind of see me, you know, and when I share posts and stuff, I'm more active. I'll be honest with you guys on Instagram. That's mainly where I'm more, more, more active. Um, so yeah, I mean, you guys can follow me on there. Uh, and then you guys can see it's, it's at the top of the the live stream yeah it's it's crazy like i had someone uh trying to join about the vip too and then she's like oh i just sent the money and i'm like what are you talking about she's like i just here's a confirmation and i'm like what like like i do i yeah i got involved in crypto and stuff like that but i'm like yo what are you talking about like i've got everything structured like through stripe like everything's proper like i don't like, you know, some people, if they need to pay in crypto, sure. But it's like, you know, I tell them message me in mine. I have the little, the you'll see the verified badge thingy on uh, Telegram. Mine will have the verified badge. Welcome, Kevin. Cal oh, sorry, Calvin. Welcome, Calvin. Um, anyways, team, that's beautiful trade setup. You know, for Asian session, nice, quick, and easy. 
you know 16 pips just like that nice um We got, let me see. I got so many comments here. Give me one second, team here. God bless you, dog. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it. USDJPY, appreciate the love, my man. Uh, Colton, everyone wants to be a scammer. Sadly, fast money. Yes, man. And I'll for sure get a hold of you in the in the Telegram. Awesome. Uh, Colton, I'm trying to get the industry cleaned up. Yes, bro. 100%. 100%. Uh, we got Cinnamon Games. A A O Pedro Tuno Boom. I don't speak. I I'm Spanish, my man. So I don't speak like. I can understand uh like Brazilian Portuguese a little bit better. Portuguese uh a little bit, but you'd have to talk to me a little bit more in English, ideally, for me to understand. Uh. So yeah, team, there's a chance that it may come back up here to the highs. But again, uh, this is nice. I already, like I said, take your profits at this point. You know what I mean? If you want or uh, partial profits. But we've already kind of moved your stop loss to entry at this point. Stop loss to entry. Call it a day. It's officially risk free. If it comes up, great. Or at least you can put your stop loss closer to entry. Um, and then it might come up, retest the high once more or kind of midway and then come back down. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Waldo, thank you. Um, Dodo Ben. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. It's very similar. Uh, Cinema Games, welcome, my man. I just saw you subscribe to the family, so welcome, bienvenido. Um, okay, le let's let's move on on this. Okay. We already kind of understand you move your stop loss to entry if you did great if not um we have already in that sense um or at least i've told you guys um so let's see what's going on with the dollar man like the dollar i know some people look at the dollar some people don't i personally like to look at the dollar um just because i can you know determine what i'm seeing price potentially do so if the dollar is strong then you guys know right then gold will melt if the dollar is weak then we could see uh, gold continue to go higher and same thing with GU, right? So um, obviously it's going to be some sort of uh, of an influence on these pairs um, And so that's why I like to look at it a lot But again, it's it's everyone's different team. Everyone's different on how they look at the charts uh, How are you from bro? Todo Ben same are you I thought you were Brazilian your name is very common here. Oh <laughs> Thanks my man. Yeah, I'm uh I'm actually my parents are Nicaraguan, so from Nicaragua. So yeah, I mean pretty much like Brazilian, Brazilian. I can speak Brazilian pretty much because Bra Brazilian like and and Spanish like very very close. But like speak it, it's the writing aspect or the reading aspect that is hard for me when it comes to the Brazilian. I can under I could read it a little bit, but sometimes I get, sometimes I get stuck. We got Dayron, Dayron. Hey, what's up, bro? What's up, my man? Welcome back. Uh, Iron Man gurus, I'll expose them all. Yes, man, hundred percent. And especially like the Bitcoin ones are bad. Like I, I was thinking because I originally started in Bitcoin, and when I started the channel, I was originally thinking about doing like crypto and all that stuff. But th those are worse, man. Those are crazy. All the like exchanges and stuff like that. It's funny. I had this one other guy the other day. Remember I told you guys at the beginning of the channel, I was like, the one guy was like, yo, he just came in randomly and he comes on in comments and he goes, he's like, this guy's making money off of uh, his course and the affiliate links. And I'm like, and I think I've already said this before. I'm like, yo, I'm like, bro, I don't even have a course, number one, right? And even if I were to have one, there's nothing wrong with that. There's so many people that do it if you want to. Sure. But I don't even have one. Number one, number two, affiliate links. I logged into my Amazon affiliate links, so you guys see like on the link video description below, you'll see the links that I put in there. So like the books I recommend, stuff like that. I put like three books there. Uh, I put my equipment. I saw that most U YouTubers do it, so I was like, okay, well, you know. 
Um, it's an extra little source, something that I can reinvest. Like for example, like the camera, you know, the wifey, she, she, um, she gave me the Sony, my Sony alpha camera, my 4k camera. That was like 1300 bucks. Right. And out of pocket. And we're like, yo, you know what? It's, it's an investment. It's, you know, it's, it's to the channel and you know what I mean? Whatever, you know? And so like literally anyways long story short like there's there's money there's something like i bought a pc now i have my mac here and i have my pc here so i'm seeing you guys here on my mac and then my pc over here too so this pc setup again alone is more money too but anyways long story short i logged into the amazon this is just just hilarious i logged into the amazon I'm like well I'm like, let's see there was like over 600 clicks team 600 clicks guess how many people clicked on it and purchased nothing zero so what's the point what i'm trying to say is for people that are you know that may look at it from the other aspect too it's very quick to judge too and say hey like you know this guy but the fact that you guys are here watching you see who i am you know what i mean you know who i am right like you guys know you've seen me here every day right so you get to know who i really am right i've been doing this since august last year you know what I mean? And you know me as you start to get to know me as a person, you know, the way I think my thought process, how I am. Right. But, you know, people will come in, they'll come in and just be like, boom, boom, boom. Right. And you're just like, yo, what, what are you talking about, man? Like, you know, it's crazy. But anyways, but yeah, in terms of like lots of other people out there, though, scamming and doing stuff. Yeah. You got to be careful, family. You got to be very, very careful. You guys don't want to you know, don't fall for it, man. Anything that sounds, I'll tell you this team. I'll tell you this. Anything that sounds too good to be true is too good to be true. Simple. That's it. Um, okay. Anyways, uh, we got Colton. Can't wait to see how far we can come on this channel a year from now. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, man. God has been good, man. I, I literally like, you know, I was like, I've always wanted to do it. Like I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel. I even have my older YouTube channel out there when I did like Shopify drop shipping and all that stuff. I documented my journey. I've always wanted to do YouTube, um, but I wanted to do it with a purpose behind it. You know what I mean? I wanted to do it um, with like a, a meaning. You know what I mean? Like I didn't want to just be like, hey, I'm vlogging. Like no one's going to care if I'm just vlogging. I'm just like no one knows who I was and who I, you know what I mean? But like, I was like, also, I want to provide value. I want to be able like to be like, yo, like Pedro planted that little seed. You know what I mean? Like the man literally like sim similar, like look at Iron Man. Like this guy's like, you know, in the chat, like he's he's bringing like, you know, value. He's helping. Right. So it's it's establishing a community that you're sharing with each other. And the man one way or another is providing some sort of value to someone else or my students. Right. So it's just. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the most important thing. Uh, we, let's go. We got Iron Man. You need guests on here. Yeah, that's the goal, man. The thing is like, I need to figure out who, 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 because like, I don't really, I've thought about it too. And I'm like, that's pretty cool, but I'd have to like network with other like YouTubers or streamers that are doing something similar because I mean, unfortunately no one in my circle, like none of my friends like my close, close friends, which is pretty nice and tight. Like we're not that much, but we're, you know, smaller. It's just me and a couple, couple guys and that's it. Um, I'm like the only one that does trading, man. None of them are interested in learning how to trade or they just, and to each their own, man, you really have to like it. You really have to want to do it, man. But uh, we got here, we got Iron Man trading. Oh, I don't know if I'm providing any value. La la. la. <laughs> Got Iron Man trading. You want me to get Raja on with you? Yeah, man. 100%. Raja's got a lot more experience, though, than me. <laughs> but yeah, that'd be sick. But yeah. Yeah, no one in my actual, like, close circle, unfortunately, is really into trading, man. It's, it's really nice to be able to network with other traders, that's for sure. I have actually one older friend, uh, he likes trading, but he got so wrapped into like option trading and this and that, and he got wrapped into the whole MLM and this. And so it's just, it's just, I'm like, I'm like, that's not even trading, man. And it's always like a new company and always this, always new that, you know what I mean? 
Got Iron Man trading. I'll ask him. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, got Daniel here. The price goes to the entry point. The price goes to entry point. I'm not sure what you mean there, but by that, my man. Um, Sexto Martinez, you have to watch out because most of the YouTubers are not legit. Yeah, that's what I mean. Especially when, even when I, like I said, when I first started in crypto, when I was considering getting into, um, in, into, into like YouTube world, um, I don't know, man, they could just got, like, I got kind of, I was like, I don't know if I want to do like in crypto, man. It's just like, you know, there's so much stuff out there, man. And they're just, oh, price is going up, price is going down. And you're like, yo, this guy, man, he's just, and get this exchange, get this, get this, that. I'm like, all right. Ah, uh, we got Camilo, Pedro, acid meetups in Miami. No, bro, I wish, my man, I wish. I got a lot of family in Miami, though, so I think that's probably in the future for sure. I can maybe do a meetup there. That'd be sick. <clears throat> I know Alex G is there, Lambo Raul as well too. That'd be sick to do like a meetup. Uh, yeah, Colton, maybe you guys can get me. <laughs> That's funny. Get me to leave the house. Yeah, who knows? Maybe. Team, we're at 88 likes. Let's get it to 100. Let's get it to that goal. I think we can get it to 100 likes, man. What's going on here? US 30. Okay, as long as it doesn't break above this candle wick here, then we're good. We should see it come down. We are also in a downwards kind of direction. So if you notice this on US 30, right? Look at my 200 moving average. Do you see my 200 moving average right here, team? You see this here? Price is tre trending below it. And it's doing it's obviously doing lower highs and lower lows, right? So I could see another push to the downside. Yeah, and look at this downwards kind of Lower high pressure here. <laughs> 30 minute. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, what's that? What's going on with that? I didn't know that iron man. What's the Uncle Ted Pam lawsuit? What is that? That's crazy. <laughs> like, do you think they f like they fake it? They probably fake their count or something, man. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised, but I didn't. I mean. You hear about them and stuff, right? But jeez. So what happened with this? so this Uncle Ted guy is 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 what is he like? He's so he was fake. He he was like or what's? Because didn't Uncle wasn't Uncle Ted 
didn't Raja learn from Uncle Ted or something like that? I'm confused. That's why I don't know. I haven't like looked into it, so I can't even. I don't know. I can't say much on it. <laughs> we got cold. I'm getting curious now too. I'm getting curious too. What is the so the Google CFT? What do you do that? Just copy that or what? Copy and paste it on Google or what? Oh shoot! I see. I see. Found it. Well, this chat getting interesting. <laughs> Boss Nation, he's a scammer. Who's a scammer? Who's a scammer? Tell me. No, no, we're out. I'm out. Like, I wasn't in, but I told, I called it out for those to take, take profits or put their stop loss on at entry. Oh, shoot. Jeez. That's sketchy, man. No freaking way. I'm just trying to read here. So approximately Yeah, I got to be careful, team. There's a lot of stuff out there, man. Like, I, even us, man, we lost, uh, we invested from here. We lost a lot of money into a company in Florida. And uh, we fell victim of, of, like, a 30K loss, man. And here, like, here in Canada, like, 30K is 30K, man. That's a lot of money. U.S., right? So, I don't really talk about that stuff, man. But, um yeah company same thing man they're they're pretty much like <sighs> we've been like two years two years out basically with like freaking at that point two years out negative 30k they did like a lawsuit with like uh kozak or something like that they've got lawyers involved and everything still nothing i mean they're they're now investigating like like something with like I think it's Wells Fargo releasing the money or something. They caught the funds that they stole or whatever. The company that we invested in. And then they're supposedly going to give the money back or something to the investors or recover the money. But I don't know, man. There's who knows. It's been already almost two years. So, so yeah, I also fell victim to that too, man. Like investing and stuff like that. It wasn't like specifically, but it was something to do with like, um, like a company that was going to reinvest that money supposedly. And it wasn't trading. It was, it was like giving out loans or something. And then they, the investors like us, they would give us 
like some money residual back or something like that. It was just, we fell for it so hard, but it is what it is trying to diversify. Live and learn. Uh, let's see yesterday. Got six So audio ST has been good. Uh, good long yesterday. I'm thinking that there's still more juice to uh, the upside since dollar is weak. Uh, what do you think? Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look, bro. Because. So what I see here, like the dollar has been weak, but remember what I said, that is if the dollar comes up, we're already getting that push. Do you remember I told you guys that it was going to probably reject this level support here, right? Uh, which is nice. It, it did. And that's what gave us that push for um, USDJPY. Now, in this case now, USD, sorry, USDJPY is pulling back. Um, I'm, I'm like having a brain fart there for a second. Now, what I would want to see is a push above these highs here. So because the dollar, it's it's really indecisive right now at this point. But I would say buy setups above this level structure here for Dixie. Um, we may see it do something like this. If it comes up here, breaks above, perfect. We wait for a retest and anticipate a continuation. We got a lot of clean traffic. You can see clean traffic here. You can see clean traffic here, right? So we, if it comes up here, rejects this level, gives us the pullback, the retest, we could see a nice clean push to the upside, probably coming up to this level here too. So that would be kind of like an, a level where it would stop out here. Okay. Now, if that is the case, then yes, we could see a, a reversal potential to, uh, um, sorry, to the downside for odd USD. Um, could we get a short term push to the upside? Maybe. Again, I wouldn't sell it right now. Like I said, the only reason why I would look for sales on Audio ST would be if it breaks this level where it's at right now. I think it might come back up. I think it will come back up a little bit higher before we look for selling opportunities here on Audio ST. Remember, I said it was kind of like trending sideways right now, but the overall kind of direction is still to the downside. We could see on the four hour and on the daily, we are kind of rejecting this level here. We see a lot of wick rejections here too. So just kind of overall kind of sentiment of the market is probably continuation to the downside, but we have to just wait and see what ends up happening. I personally, th I wouldn't, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't get into anything. I don't see anything at the moment. Yeah, personally though. Uh, learning with Pedro, good. Uh, I did a two hour Instagram live with Uncle Ted a few years ago and roasted him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Colin White, that's rough. Colin, I wish I could have seen that iron. I uh, just see yeah, that's why I'm staying here, Pedro, because it's extremely hard to find honest people. No, that's true. It's true, man. Nowadays, like, like I said, even myself, man, you know, we all could fall victim of certain stuff, man. It is what it is, right? You live and learn. Uh, we got David here. Our man trading is a good damn trader, folks. He knows what he's doing. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Daniel level out. Our man trading second account. <laughs> Selling oil. Bro, that isn't me. <laughs> Kind of pissed. I threw sixty dollars to the market today, taking too many trades, but not letting it beat me up. Uh, too bad that what that came up with. Got money fixed corner. Sup, Pedro? Sup, my man? Welcome.
<laughs> Sup, Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know your money level. <laughs> uh anyways team so yeah so uh let's see oil oh we are looking at potential cells however we gotta push the upside so that's invalidates that let's see here oh yeah at that look at that team we got the 200 or a major level of resistance look at that oil cells for sure to the downside Yo, chat's too funny right now, still. Kair, gold, yes, my man. Uh, gold, so yeah, right now, what I see with gold. And we don't have any news coming out, too, so it's not, there's no major movements gonna happen. You never know, we might see just, we might see it just range. Right, we're just kind of stuck in this range. We could see the highs here, right? We'll be looking at buys above these highs here. Sells below here for sure. Price is just ranging right now. So I would just stay out of gold for now. It did pull back. So at the beginning of the live stream, I mentioned that golds, we were looking at potential sells. Uh, back down to the neckline of this kind of like uh, I guess you could say double bottom. Um, so I was telling you guys at the beginning of the live stream, we were looking at gold coming back down to this level here. Uh, we did push down. Um, however, I think gold may actually, like I said, it's ranging. So we may just come back down, retest that level, London or like New York. We may see a push to the upside. Sorry. Not sure what the heck happened here, team. There we go. Something like that. That's what I'm looking at there for gold for now. Team, we're at 94 likes. Let's get it to 100 likes. I know we can get it to 100 likes, team. And welcome to everyone that's new. Welcome to all the new family members. It's coming up to 10.30, team. I think I'm going to be looking for bed soon. Wake up early. Yeah, so that's what I'm looking at, dude. And if we got a push, we don't know, right? So depending on what the dollar does here, if we break above these highs, great. If it just comes to this level and it rejects, then we can see a complete opposite of what's going to happen here. But our make or break point, we may reject this level and continue to go down further to these lows. If that is the case, if the dollar continues to go down further, excuse me, then we could see... Uh, gold come back up to that high level there are many fixed corners crazy how now i talked all that talk behind closed doors man is scamming go to bed after Six to go to bed on Friday at 5 p.m. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, I 
I mean, I don't follow through with a lot of them, but I know there's a lot, a lot going on, man. Like you don't know, you don't know nowadays, man. Yeah. Oh, team, we're at 98 likes. We're so close to 100. We are so close to 100. Uh, let's take a look at oh, JPY. We didn't get a rejection of this level. It's fine. We've broken above it. So we might actually hold this level support now. See if it when it pulls back here, we'll see if it respects that level of support. We might get a push to the upside, or it might just fake out and come back in. We'll see. As of right now, I don't see anything here too. Yeah, I'd stay out for now. Sorry guys, I'm just reading here through here. Uh, Damon, bro, honestly, tell me if there's any money to be made from trading. Honestly, can technical analysis get you profitable? And if so, people say institutional traders don't uh, use technical analysis. Please uh, like to thank you, my man. I appreciate it. Oh, we're 102. Damn, we actually like blew up. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Sorry guys, I'm like, I have both screens here. So if I'm staring at something, it's not that I'm like ignoring you or whatever. Um... Yeah, no, 100%, man. Um, I think the biggest thing when it comes to trading is the psychological aspect, but there's just so much information out there that tells you get this, get that, get this, get that. So the problem is like a lot of traders, they get into trading with the anticipation that trading is going to get you rich quick or the anticipation that trading is going to, you're going to be able to get um, flip an account quick or you're going to be able to see instant profits right away. Yes, trading, especially like trading a very lucrative market like forex and stuff like that um you can get, see instant results you can flip something quickly but those are like kind of like past performance never guarantee future gains it's something that you know it could be a once in a lifetime type of thing where oh wow you flipped an account from 10k to 100k in like two three days i mean that sounds very realistic but i mean if you're over trading and you know what i mean but that's not sustainable right so the thing is most traders come in or new traders come in and then they anticipate that that mentality right but most traders that actually do this for a living right they have other aspects where they say okay this is where i'm at this is what i have income wise or whatever right and so this is i'm going to focus on trading that's why i said trading if you go on trading full end and you're just doing it full time or or you just jump into it hoping that this is going to be your end all and be all you're going to find yourself with a lot of pressure. You're going to find yourself stressed out. You're going to find yourself uh, probably taking the wrong trades, right? So trading has to, you have to be at a different, like a relaxed state of mind, right? You don't want to be taking trading when you're feeling pressured, right? That's why, for example, when it comes to funded accounts, traders that are so new to the industry, right? Um, they're all like, yo, I need, I, I, I need to pass this account. I need to pass this account. That's great. Like people in my inner circle have passed the account, right? But what I want to know as, as a trader is, are they learning? Right. Like, did they understand why I took that trade? Right. Not just, hey, copy and paste. But did they actually understand why I took that trade and why um, it did end up going in in our in our direction in that sense? Right. And sometimes it won't. You know what I mean? That's just the harsh reality. The market could do anything completely at any time. Right. And so, yeah, of course, it, of course, it is profitable. I've been able to like grow my accounts. I have like 
two small accounts that I've already slowly built up. Right. And yeah, like you can withdraw money. Yeah, you can make money, but it's up to you. You know what I mean? It's up to you if you're able to control your emotions. Right. Um, you know what I'm saying, guys? Like, it's totally up to you. The, the moment I, I notice that I allow my emotions to get involved, that's it. Game over. You, 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 you get over trading. You start doing this. You start doing that. And so the problem is, is that a lot of like gurus or other traders out there, right? Then they take advantage and say, well, you know, they don't focus so much on, on the real, the rawness of it, right? The rawness of it. They just say, okay, listen, buy my indicator. And this indicator is going to tell you how to buy or sell. And that's it. But are you really t learning like basic market structure, learning price action, right? Are you learning how the market moves, right? Are you understanding how to trade or are you just buying an indicator system or some, you know, when I first started, I, I invested, I spent so much money on all these different programs and it was like this pip trigger system, this, 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 when this turns green, then this turns yellow and this turns this. And, and you're like, what the frick, man? Like, and then you would never really know how to trade. You just knew, okay, when this turns yellow and this thing's over this line and this and this and this line turns like this and it, it, are you really learning how to trade or are you just following like some sort of a, you know, built for you system that apparently will tell you when to buy or sell. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying or hating against, you know, these indicators and stuff like that. But what I'm saying is you'll see a lot of fluff around it, right? You'll see a lot of fluff around all that type of stuff where they'll... Or they won't tell you the full scope of it, right? In trading, right? They won't really actually explain things and say, this is how you look at it, right? So that's why when I learned from my mentor, you know, I spent money, like I didn't spend a lot of money as much as I spent money with other traders that I, when I was starting out, right? Programs. And so with this guy, I, I, you know, I bought his program. It was literally $500 and he just taught me price action. He literally taught me this is how the market moves. This is what potentially happens. This is how you look at the market. The market could do anything at any given time. You're not, he's like, why are you getting into this trade? Know your risk. He always tell me, always know your risk. What are you risking? And, and if there was something he would just, he would always laugh. He'd be like, okay, are you gambling? Like, why do you think you're going to buy at this area? Why do you think you're going to sell? Right. Or whatever. Right. So it, it, it's so true. Right. And, um, yeah, over time, I just over and over and over and over and over until it all kind of clicked. And uh, eventually got to that point where I felt um, comfortable and it all just one day it just all clicked. Um, so, yeah, um, his name is Jack, but he doesn't I think he had like an old YouTube channel. I think he stopped, but he's like retired. Like so he does trading. That's all he does trading and then he just like literally like just goes on skype and he just skypes with his students which is pretty cool um but that's pretty much what he does that's it and he invests in real estate that's it guy works for, like from home and to this day it's funny like he he we still talk and he goes he's like oh he's like you're making more money than me now he's like and he just like laughs around he's like he's like oh you know like did you cast that us 30 trade i'm like yeah He's like, you buy or sell it? I'm like, no, I sold, I, I bought it. He's like, oh man, I was on a sell on that one. I'm like, yeah. Um, but anyways, it, it, again, was it? It was the most underrated person. I would have never thought, again, I would have never thought. Um, found him online uh, in local, like kind of like a Craigslist. And uh, it was kind of like Facebook, like, like one of those Facebook kind of like, you know, you put it there like, hey, if you need like, and yeah, he's just said, he's like, Hey man, I've been doing this for 30 years. Here's like Mike, he even showed me like the live thing, uh, with the live brokerage and everything. So it wasn't like some sketchy brokerage. It was actually a regular brokerage at that time. It was with vantage effects. So it was like live, man. He like showed me real results and stuff. He showed me how like he grew a small account without having to aggressively flip it. But it was like, he had a thousand bucks and he's like, watch this thousand bucks. We'll slowly grow it. Let's take a look at the markets. Let's take these trades. This isn't that. Give it a give. He's like, give it a month or two. You'll see. And boom, guy grew it from a thousand bucks to like 15 grand, like doing low, low risk, which was crazy. Um, but yeah, anyways, right? Like it's to each their own, right? You got to find your style. You got to find what works with best for you, right? Everyone's different too, right? So, uh, sorry team. I'm just trying to read here now through the comments and welcome to everyone that's new, all the new family members, 
welcome to la familia i'm happy to have you guys here make sure to when you guys join in right now make sure you guys um have that notification bell so you're subscribed you have your notifications turned on you click that notification bell and you click all notifications so you don't miss a single piece of content um and if you guys are new i see a couple um people joining in guys we're at 105 likes awesome team uh, for all the new members that are joining in feel free to introduce yourself in the chat box let me know where you're joining in from what country you're joining in from and how long you've been trading for too so uh yeah why don't you tell me okay perfect uh demon yes let's go we got oh fight is this live yes it is live uh alex what's your restored ratio what ratio do you shoot one to three my man uh but one to two is enough um who, okay mentor perfect colton i'm out have a good night rest of the night guys look forward to another day learning with the family let's go colton happy to have you here my man boss nation on ice yes uh demon what's your strategy bro i failed and lost for seven years and i really want to make it uh is funded trader program worth it? Lastly, bro, does price action work? And if so, we all lose money. Thanks. So, uh, this that's a lot there in that sense. So let me just try and answer it part by part. So basically, my strategy: break and retest. Um, I look for certain patterns too. So it's not just one strategy. I have a few different ways I look at the markets. Um, and yeah. Anyway, so but to. Put it in short form break and retest that's kind of my my bread and butter and what i look for really right every every trader is different every trader has different ways of looking at the market but for me it's uh break and retest so that's my strategy obviously wait for confirmations look at major levels of structure all that type of stuff i have failed and so you're saying i have failed and lost for seven years and i really want to make it you can make it my man you just got to stick through with it right but you also have to stick with something that works for you right like you you can't be hopping from one thing to the other right let's say you hop on one thing you fail once then you give up then you move on to a different strategy then you fail and then you move up and you move you gotta like stick with one thing my man so if you like the way i trade perfect stick with it come on to the live streams they're absolutely free to come on um come watch my videos right like after this live stream I'm, after i'm done go watch my videos go to my videos tab on my channel click on the videos and go through all of it or click on the playlist where it says much wa uh, must watch playlist click on the place start watching one by one right and then you'll understand okay this is how he caught that us 30 trade this is how he caught the gold trade right and it's not always going to be wins right like losses are part of trading but more often than not you'll see how people are able to kind of be in a positive right and be able to uh, actually make a decent living out of it and is funded trading program worth it um funded so becoming a funded trader i mean it's a personal preference but i'll be honest with you i i personally me i don't i don't think it helps you have the right mindset when it comes to starting out when you're trading you want to have the right mindset not the mindset of i need to pass i can't have this many losses i have only a certain amount of days left to make this amount of profit i personally don't think that that's the right mentality or the right mindset or or kind of like the right um you know mood or vibe to be in when it comes to trading so personally i will be honest with you i would kind of stay away from that if that's if you struggle so much and now you get into funded if you can't become profitable in this case um in let's say uh your own capital even if it's small then being funded won't even make a difference at that point uh, so having more capital won't make a difference in terms of if you're not profitable or you're not consistent at least um, with your gains then um, that's not going to make a difference uh, lastly bro does price action work yes it does and so why why we all lose money because the market because we have to understand that the big guys don't want us to make money in this sense right so they know that most most newbie traders in this case right they know that for example, when price comes to a certain level, okay, uh, let's say, for example, I don't know, like it could be any pair really because any pair could be heavily manipulated, right? Um, it's hard It's hard for me to kind of point it out here. Let's say, hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's say, let's say this level here. 
Or you know what? Let's save this. Yeah, let's say this area here. Look at this team. Look at this. So let's say here, okay? So this area here, okay? If you look over here, what would you see here at this point? You're like, oh man, I'm going in for buys. That look. If you're new, you, I know for sure most people that are new, if they would have saw this bullish candle, they would have been freaking out right now. They would have been like, oh well, we just broke above these highs. This looks hella bullish. Yo, I'm just going to get in straight on buys here, right? Rookie mistake. They get in here on buys. They see bullishness. They broke above this previous wick. Okay, perfect, right? You set your stop loss. You're, you're ready. You do 20 pip stop. Done. This is going to happen, right? You're all excited, right? You're in, the mo you're in the moment, right? Yeah, you're like, you know what? Yeah, we were, look, trending to the downside. Da, 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 da. This, this, and that. We've broken above, creating higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, right? No. You have to realize something one or two things we are pretty much coming up at a major level structure here look at this support 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 resistance resistance pretty much a major level number one i wouldn't really buy here the reason being again this is personal i'm just trying to get you guys to understand something here just personally how i'd see the markets right i wouldn't buy here why well because we're at a major level structure this candle hasn't closed on the higher time frame to give me that confirmation that it's going to continue to go higher right um <laughs> but sorry i'm just reading through the comments here but most traders would have bought most traders would have said look we were trending to the downside we broke above we retested we came up we're going to the upside we're going to the moon right nope wrong the you have to understand the big guys will want to fake out all these people right all these buyers that apparently are going to buy wants to fake them out because in reality they create huge, this huge candle and in reality a profitable trader will wait wait for the price to close below this line that i drew and watch what happens so we let price plate okay boom we got a closure below even on the 30 minute if we go down the 15 minute we can see that price gave us that huge re rejection look at this candle here even if you entered down below here let's say there or even at these highs here we set your stop 25 pips let the trade run watch what happens right so like you saw how juicy that looked as a buy right you saw that right so a lot of times the big guys will always do stuff like that to fake people out pump those buyers get them out wake them out stop them out hit their stop losses and then price ends up going in the direction they actually do anticipate right so that's that's literally it look at this that on the 15 minute time frame capitulated over 111 pips just like that team right and what did i look at literally price action basic market structure let's move away this channel that i had that didn't exist right oh it's going up it's going no 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 it's not going up right you got your fake out there though right you thought it was going to go up right but again these things will come with time you really have to understand that it takes time to get to this point where you can and and again i'm not saying that i have it all together or i've already figured it all out again i have so much more to learn but the fact that once you have that clarity and it all starts kind of clicking and you're like you have that kind of aha moment you're like oh okay this kind of makes sense now you know what i mean uh we got don't feed bot hi nice to meet you i'm italian and still trying to learn awesome my man welcome to the family welcome to everyone all you guys that are new welcome to the family sorry if i haven't been able to respond here just trying to give you guys examples here so uh, that can help you guys with your trading team we're at 106 likes can we get it to 110 likes damon gain control of yourself first and you again consistency there you go there you go um we are great to know it's about to drop soon right no i just got into this two days ago terms mean love a lot i'll take what i can get yeah well you know what the more you come up the more you show in the live streams the more you're gonna get uh you know accustomed to the way i explain things and stuff like that so just make sure you take notes and you know uh you guys will learn little by little and you'll get more and more comfortable team welcome 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 everyone also team make sure you guys join in the free telegram group okay um and shout out to all the new family members uh we've got uh don't feed bot from italy welcome 
We've got Dola Rosa. Hello, Dola. Hey, Cal. Did you try hedging before? Uh, no, I haven't, my man. I know some people do that. I know Nick FX does that. I mean, I personally think it's just gambling at that point. Because if it goes one direction, then you do it. But then again, then again, I respect it. Everyone has a different way of trading, right? Everyone's different. So I respect it. Let's put it that way. And if it works for you, it works for you. But I personally don't want to do it that way. Uh, we got Esteban. Let's go, Esteban. Welcome to La Familia. Esteban has subscribed to the family. We got Kroos has subscribed to the family. Eugene has subscribed to the family. Uh, Mustafa has subscribed to the family. Welcome to all the new family members that are just subscribing right now. Welcome, 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 team. Excited to have you guys here. Uh, let's go. 109 likes. Um, okay, we got Doug here. Would you say it's easier to stick with one pair or should you look at uh, other two? You know what? Um, I'll be honest with you. Like Some traders say like just focus on like one pair or two max. I like to me, like personally, what I figured out is it's good to try all of them and then figure it, narrow it down to whatever you feel comfortable. Like I know each pair will always move differently. We know that, right? As traders, we know that the market always changes the way it moves, you know, fundamentals, has a huge factor of how price is going to move and all that stuff. But um, trying out which pair you feel you can kind of feel comfortable with and then just narrow it down to maybe like your top three. You know what I mean? That's kind of the way I do it. Um, I've kind of narrowed it down to like top five. Um, again, right? Like some traders just say I just dead like they're so dead on focus on just one pair. Um, I like to kind of just focus on my top five. And most often than not, to be honest, I end up just trading two or three. But at least having the top five, I can always like, you know, if one or two pairs that I'm not looking at don't have a move, don't have a setup, then I move on to the other two, right? Or the other three or whatever, right? Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I do. But that's my advice there, my man. Oh, nice. 110 likes, team. Doug, anytime, my man. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, anyways, this was a great example for RJPY. You guys saw that, team. Right? Easily faked out. You thought you were looking at buys, especially price breaking above this previous high here. Right? So, we know that's a major level that price has respected in the past. Right? But you got faked out. Right? Typical... Um, you know, mistake when people are starting up. Uh, we got Ofo. Oh, excuse me, 111 likes team. Let's go. Ofo, which is your favorite pair to trade? Um, I really like, I really like trading GU, man. To be honest, I like GU, but it's hard for me to narrow it down. Your USD is good too. Gold. Um, yeah. USD JPY has been good too. So, I mean, I'm kind of, I've come down to like five pairs, my top five, and that's pretty much it. But I don't know. I kind of want to, some part of me wants to eventually just narrow it down to like maybe two pairs. That's it. Josias, that's why we could have, uh, that's why, uh, because we didn't wait for the retest. That's why we could have gotten, we couldn't have gotten faked out. There you go. You got it. You got it. Right? Even, even though it broke above these highs, you got it, right? Yeah, exactly. There was no, even on the retest here, you can see, look at this. Even here on the five minute, it looks like a head and shoulders pattern formation, broke the neckline, retested the neckline. And then even here on the five minute, I would have got in at this candle here or this candle closure here. Even if you got in late, like let's say this candle here, closure, closure, look at how it fell. Right? So. 
Yeah, look at that. Capitulated, man. We got Desafan25, one last thing. No, man, you don't have to, you don't, it's okay. I. You see, the thing with me, um, the thing with me is, like, I'm okay with, like, people, uh, like, you know what I mean, giving their opinions and stuff like that, you know, it's up to you guys, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you're more than welcome to, to share your opinions and stuff, you know what I mean? And remember something, though, everyone, everyone, I've always said this in, in my channel all the time. Everyone has a different way of trading. There's no right way or wrong way of trading. I want you guys to know that. Right? Um, you know, because... Yeah. You know what I mean? Some people might say break and retest this or price action this or that. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, everyone sees the markets differently. Right? You just have to find what works for you. That's the way I see it, team. Um... Uh, no pullback. We need to pull back closure. There, no pullback. Yeah. Team, I think uh, I think I'm going to call it a night, and I'll probably just leave my charts for you guys. For those that are just like like to see the charts and stuff like that, I'll leave the charts. But I'm gonna go spend some time with uh, with the wife, and it's getting late, so i'm gonna clear no i can't clear it because i've got these here so i'm just gonna clear it one by one we were looking at a potential bearish flag here form nice sell here this is what i uh, sent out in my inner circle uh this sell right there on gold um but yeah i was anticipating a potential sell from here because this was a major level structure and then look price it didn't end up going in that uh, bearish flag right so price fake faked not faked us out but ended up going in a different different direction Pushed above, retested this level. Uh, we may see gold maybe come up from here. We'll see. So we'll see though. I'm not going to say anything at this moment. But we may see gold push up to these highs maybe. leave my arrow there um yeah okay Awesome team. So I'm going to leave my charts here on gold. Um, I will be updating it as we go. Holy crap. It looks like the sun or something. <laughs> Shoot. Um, I will be updating it as we go, as you guys know, like yesterday too. Um, uh, but yeah, thank you so much team. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, feel free to leave the charts on. So if you have your tablet, your phone or whatever, uh, feel free to leave this chat on um and yeah that's pretty much it team i hope you enjoyed this stream i don't know i think we pushed through what like two yeah almost three hours three hour stream so beautiful team i hope you enjoyed it um and yeah i look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow um and yeah that's pretty much it team and if you have any questions feel free to ask away watch my videos too team check out my videos on my channel you kind of want to look at the way i trade the markets um let me see here if there's a way to share yeah there we go so this is my playlist team so you guys can go watch this playlist too we got kapu trader kipo trader let's go thanks man got here late but appreciate it no worries my man appreciate having you here uh, feel free to check it out team. That is the link to my playlist Okay, and that's pretty much it uh, We've got that's pretty much it team double that yes Also team if you do watch the if you click on the any of those videos on that playlist and you watch it My best advice to is to you know, just kind of watch it over get a good idea as to what you can anticipate 
um you know how to look at the markets all that type of stuff you'll learn a lot and how i look at the markets myself so make sure you guys watch that playlist and if you watch any of my videos team leave a comment you know it does help the channel I'll, I'll, like i'll be honest it does every comment every like does help the channel the algorithm does something where it shows that there's engagement and stuff so in turn you know it's supporting the channel and i can keep you know it motivates me to keep going you know what i mean so um so yeah team uh we got a couple members asking here usdjpy yeah let's take a look at usdjpy so look at that so it did push up remember um this is an essentially a break-even trade we got 16 pips 16 pips so it came up to these highs here it is respecting this level structure i don't like how it closed above this previous high but i wouldn't be surprised if it actually comes back down so it's, this is just kind of like a slight little push here but it's still a major level structure here so still think it could go down lower just depends let's see dollar it depends on what the dollar does too though if the dollar gains strength then that's it but we already for those that when we took this trade we already took basically it almost reached tp1 here we were targeting 22 pips it reached about 15 no 16 pips 16 pips so when price was here i already told you guys to move your stop loss to entry take partials for those that wanted to <clears throat> yeah so right now essentially if it rejects this level this is nice because what i would see is price coming back down to this lower level here for usd jpy probably around like 131 200 131 yeah 200 range we could see it come down all the way here um, and then give us a push to the upside if it breaks above here so that if it breaks above this current area where it's at right now uh, then we could see usd jpy definitely give us a stronger push to the upside uh, we have a lot of uh, clean traffic here. So I would say maybe my target level for USD JPY would be this area here. Uh, right here. So I'd be about like 132, 350 area. All right, team. 132. So if it breaks above, that's kind of where I'm seeing price go up, push up all the way, and then see a nice pullback. All right, team, that's pretty much all I have. I hope you guys have an amazing night. I'm going to leave my gold charts here, um, you know, because I know that some of you guys do uh, appreciate it when I leave it, and I do update it as we go. Um, yeah. There we are, team perfect and then the play playlist is there make sure you guys check out that playlist watch those videos and yeah all right team have yourself a great night
Good morning, team. Hope you guys are doing well, man. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Okay, so what I'm going to do All right team, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically uh, Reset the chart so reset the live stream. So just make sure that um, You guys come on. Okay, and then now uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this together. Yeah, so make sure you guys hop on to the new live stream, okay? And um, we're going to look at the charts together, team. Alrighty? And welcome to everyone that's new, all the new members. Welcome to La Familia. 